Well, three rounds down and two to go until high school football teams in the state of Texas reach AT&T Stadium to play for a state title. Now, lucky for us in Central Texas and the Brazos Valley, there's plenty of December football to get to. We had six teams take the field in the regional finals this evening, and there's even an epic rematch in 3A Division I between Powers La Arena and Franklin. We're going to start in Class 5A Division I. A&M Consolidated in the regional finals for the first time since 2003, taking on Smithson Valley early on. Not good for the Tigers as a high snap on the punt, but look at Colton Schmeller making nothing out of something. Puts his head down and moves the chains for a first down. Then later in the drive, number 12, it's the Schmeller drive. Field goal up and good. 3-0 Consol. Later in the first, right after a fumble recovery, going to work, Will Hargett play action. Time lets it rip down the boundary. He's got a wide open Ellis Myers. It's all Consol. 10-0 Tigers. They're up 17-0 when Smithson Valley is going to wake up. Long drive, Brad Sowersby. Off tackle run outside, bottled up, no, fights off a would-be tackler into the end zone. He goes, breaks the pylon, so 17-7. to Two-minute drill for consultant Hargett, oh, no. He's picked off, going the other way right before the half. Pick six, City. So, Smith and Valley with all the momentum in the second half. They start to roll. Same play as earlier, Sowersby. Into the end zone he goes, and Smithson Valley comes from behind to knock off Consol. Still, what a run for the Tigers, but they are done 31-24. Down to Class 5A Division II, Huntsville in the fourth round for the first time since 2018, facing Port Natchez Groves. Second quarter starting 10-0 Indians going deep. Connor Bailey, wide of a guy down the boundary. London Nunley picking him up and putting him down. Reservations for six after long catch, 17-0. Need a spark, here it comes. Austin Taylor, time of the pocket, post right alert. Got him, coach. In between the safety and the deep defender there, Trayshawn Brown hauls it in. So Huntsville hanging tough. It's 17-6 here. Taylor, screen pass, Brown, little crease in daylight. Brought down inside the five-yard line, looking to cash it in and really put the pressure on PNG Taylor. Off the right-hand side, feeling his way. He broke the plane. That made it 24-14, but that is your final Hornet season. Comes to an end by that score, 24-14. Here we go, Class 3A Division I, two-time defending state champion Franklin seeking revenge against Lorena. The Leopards won the district matchup. First quarter, Leopard strike first. Caden Roberts play action. Wide open, Jaden Porter, the Baylor commit. See ya later. Tail lights to the end zone. 7-0, Lorena looking strong early, but Franklin would have an answer all night long. Their quarterback, Court Lowry, pitches to Jaden Jackson on the left-hand side. Whoop! Cuts it back across the grain, steps out of one, and then you can just wave to him. Speed kills to the end zone. House call for number one. It's 7-7, just like that. Okay, one touchdown by number one. How about two? This time over the right-hand side, kind of just feeling his way. Then down the boundary he goes and whoop! Makes another guy miss, breaking ankles into the end zone. 35 yards, makes it 14 to seven Lions. Second quarter, Braylon Henry, special moment here. Bulls his way into the end zone. He breaks his dad, John Henry, single season rushing touchdown record. How about that for number two and special moment there with dad. But in the third quarter, the Lions start to pull away. Jackson takes the handoff up the middle, just kind of weaving his way through traffic. Oh, he's too good tonight. How about five tutties for number one, nearly 300 yards. Franklin heads back to the state semifinals with the 49-27 victory. Let's go to class 2A division two now. Mart facing Love Lady. The Panthers crushed the Lions in this round last year. And again, the same thing. Fourth quarter up 43-20. Demontre Medlock feel his way through the hole there. Quarterback keeper 50-20. It's all Panthers. You saw the ground game by Demontre. How about we go to the air now? Medlock, time of the pocket. Airs it out, Ethan Hawking, got him, coach, on the play action. Down the boundary he goes, 42-yard pitch and catch. All Mart, they're headed to the state semifinals with the 57-20 victory. To Class 2A Division II, now Chilton taking on Fall City. Pirates finally pass the third round. Pirates deep in Beavers territory. Isaiah Red takes it himself up the middle. Boom, boom, boom. Bulls his way, first score of the game. Later on, Red says, I'm going to give it to somebody else, and that's a great idea, too. DeCorian Evans gets to the outside, steps out of one, speed to the corner, and he's in there. It's all Chilton over Falls City early on. 
So you know the Beavers, they need an answer, right? Uh, but they're not going to get it. Their quarterback, Braylon Johnson, picked off by Isaac Red. So the Red Brothers continue to get it done for Chilton. That was on defense, and we ended with one heck of a highlight on offense. Brothers connected. Red, Isaiah, wide open post route. Streaking is Isaac. Got him. Love the play call there. Go to the air when you get the ground game going. What do we have? All Chilton, 53-7. to Buckle up next week. Chilton March State Semifinals. The winner goes to AT&T Stadium. From the six-man ranks, we've actually already reached the state semifinals. So tomorrow on Saturday, Jonesboro and Oglesby look to punch their tickets to AT&T Stadium. Let's see if Franklin could go for three in a row. That's it for sports. We'll be right back.